My name is Mitchell Groper. Uh, I've been involved or was involved in an um, executive role at Federation for a number of years, almost near the early beginning. My last official role was as past board chair four terms ago. I was board chair then four terms prior to that. And uh, prior to that, I was the um, chair of the foundation. And prior to that, I was uh, campaign chair. So I've uh, had all of the, what you might call, senior responsibilities with Federation over those years. And roughly how many years are we talking about all those different hats? Well, in, in those official capacities, that would be, that'd be six years plus the two more years as uh, past board chair. So eight years in sort of what you might call official capacity. I, I sat on the uh, foundation board for a number of years as a, uh, as a board or trustee member of that board as well. So how was it that you first got involved? Uh, I've always been involved in Jewish communal activities. It's been part of our family. Um, going back to my grandparents in Saskatoon, who were very involved in the community there. Uh, my, my Baba was the first uh, woman in Canada to be a Negev dinner recipient. And uh, my Zeta had a very predominant role in the, in the community, primarily as uh, what they call there the Board of Education. So it's, and my father was chair of the Board of Education. So it's been an inherited or uh, passed down kind of role to be involved in Jewish communal activities. That, that was in Saskatoon. And so when did you come to Vancouver? I came to Vancouver permanently in 1970 and uh, was a little involved in campaigning for what was then, I think, Jewish Fund and Council. And then I do recall the very early meetings, which I believe were in the late 80s, when uh, Federation was formed. I remember Bob and Helen Coleman who were very much involved in, in the original formation of Federation and stayed involved right unfortunately to Bob's end and Helen has been at uh, even recent annual meetings. They very much stay involved. So harken back to those days and uh, can you recall what were the big challenges being faced by our community back then? Um, it was a change to go to a federation from a number of individual organizations. The biggest issue was trying to um, harness the uh, energy of those who wanted to support Israel and those who wanted to support the community and find a way where collectively we could do better by doing both. When I took on the role as campaign chair, I think maybe it was 10 years ago or 12 years ago, together with Betty Jane Israel, it was the year that Mark Gervis first came to uh, Federation as executive director and then CEO. And Mark arrived here, and I and Betty Jane were new campaign chairs, and we had the Lebanon War in Israel, and we had an emergency campaign that we began six weeks later. And we had a general campaign in the community that plateaued at $4 million. And we told the community in May and June of that year that their contributions to this emergency fund were not to affect their general campaign and that the new goal of the general campaign was $5.5 .5 million. And we made both. I think that year the, the amount in the emergency campaign was about $5 million. So we showed that this community had capacity in one year, 10 years ago, to donate over $10 million in one year to the community. And we moved the annual campaign from four to five and a half million dollars that year, which I think put it on a much more sustainable, credible footing. That's like a year over year increase. It's quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think that was achieved? Uh, because we set out to do it, we told people we were going to do it, we told people what was expected of them, and you know, we just relentlessly went after it. And I think um, the, having Mark Gervis in the community gave us a, a, a great deal of professional help to get to those results. The, the achievement that stands out when I look at the Federation Board today is my goal of succession and populating the board 
with younger, dynamic, committed individuals from a broad section of the community. We had a very good board, a very good table when I was there, but succession is a very important part of any organization and leadership in an organization. So one of the things I was able to do, one of the functions of the past president, is the nominating committee. And uh, I look when I go to federation functions today at the people who are the you know, chair of the campaign, chair of the women's campaign, uh, chair of the board. Uh, these are people that I uh, recruited to, to federation to sit on the board and I can look back with a lot of gratitude to say, you know, you're there and I had a hand in you being there and I ha had a hand therefore in continuity of this community. You talk to us a little bit about what you see being the different challenges our community faces today versus what it may have faced 20 years ago. Uh, Vancouver has one significant challenge. That's affordability of housing. Uh, the affordability of housing means that the Jewish community is no longer, or the young people in the community, can no longer afford to live where the Jewish, Jewish community has its institutions. Therefore, and I think the campaign this year is that's its primary goal, is outreach in the sense that we don't have to build buildings, we don't have to build institutions, but we got to get programming, we got to get Jewish workers, we got to get into the parts of the community where our community now lives. That's uh, east of Fraser, that's uh, in Burnaby, that's in New Westminster, that's in Surrey. And that's that's the challenge. And that's a, a new challenge, but it's one we've, we've got to... And, and fortunately, I see the, the campaign undertaking that kind of challenge. Making sure that we reach out to those people in outlying communities is important. Well, I'll turn the question uh, around the other way. What if we didn't? Okay. It is more difficult to them to partake in uh, Jewish activities in our traditional centers, the Jewish Community Center and our synagogues all on Oak Street or our uh, Jewish Community buildings in, in Richmond or, or the one or two we have in, in North Vancouver. And what if we didn't? the opportunity of their association with our community becomes less. There are so many pulls and demands upon people's time that we got to make being Jewish and associated with the community one of those pools and demands. I, I believe that, that the people who move to those areas for economic reasons are not disassociating themselves with the community, very much want to be part of the community, but unless we respond to what they need, uh, it's too easy for them to just say, well, I'll get on with my life. Over your years with Federation, you've obviously given a lot back to the community through that. Um, is there anything you've taken out? Is there anything, any personal benefits that you've derived from your involvement with Federation? Uh, biggest ones are relationships with people, people I served with on the board. Relationship with Mark Gervis, the relationship with Ezra, uh, the who who both are outstanding professionals in their in their own way, but you could, they are really professional professionals and very dedicated. So that's a gift. The relationships with with the leadership. Um, I chose not to be involved in the national international arena. That takes a lot of years and a lot of continuity. And I just said I'm going to focus on what we're doing here and let other people do that. We did, uh, however, have a very interesting um, mission to Israel uh, where we focused not on the usual trip to Israel where you go to army bases and you go to uh, kibbutzes and you see historic sites, but the, the uh, mission focused on business in Israel. And we went and visited the business leaders and the up-and-coming uh, technology people. And, uh, for example, we uh, visited with uh, Perez's son, who runs a very, very large private equity group in Israel. We visited with, um, interesting, his name I can't remember, but uh, we visited with him. He uh, manufactures uh, propellers in jet planes. And he manufactured them in Eastern Europe and in Israel and so on. And four weeks after he left Israel, he sold his business for $4 billion. And he spent you know, a couple hours with us on the blackboard, explaining to us how Israel is going to get better through educating young people. Federation is always a growing, changing organization. It's not a static organization, but it does, I think, allow the community to bring together the best, 
It does forward planning for the needs of the community. It has put out a very impressive book last year in you know, 2020. What we would do in 2020, what we would do with $10 million is a very impressive plan. A community needs those things. We, Vancouver has been very fortunate in terms of its federation compared to a lot of other communities in North America in terms of uh, affiliation, which people still think is too low, in terms of campaign and an increase in campaign. Uh, we've done a very, very credible job in this community, but we continue to grow. The challenge I think we uh, face in this community, of every Jewish community does, and that is uh, interfaith marriage. And that is one that uh, I know Federation has dealt with through things like PJ Library and other kinds of outreaches. But that is a challenge that I think is a very important one.